a lot of people through the metro. It is noisy, and we're continuing to keep an eye on not only thunderstorms, but damaging wind being the main threat with these thunderstorms that are down. Some structures in terms of some sheds, some decks that have been displaced because of these thunderstorms that we've seen with damaging winds. In addition to that, we have seen some hail with some of these thunderstorms, certainly as well. And this line moving right over downtown Kansas City, extending through the south side of the 435 loop. And it's this leading edge that you can see right now moving its way south along 49 on the Missouri side of the state line. That is where we've seen some really strong wind gusts. The potential here is still seeing wind gusts of 60 to 70 miles an hour moving into areas of Harrisonville, Archie, then into Garden City. And we're going to watch as this entire area of thunderstorms pulls from west to east right over the state line, right over 49, and then into central portions of Missouri. But it's not just Kansas City. Most of our viewing area wet with thunderstorms across our area. These extend across the Missouri-Iowa border, south as well to the Lake of the Ozarks. This will be the main last line that will move through Kansas City, but I do expect that we'll have additional thunderstorms as we're heading into this afternoon. I'm just now updating that newest run here of our Storm Track by forecast track heading into this evening, and I'll have that latest look for you here in just minutes, Joe. Over to you. Okay, Aaron, we appreciate you.